Raise your hand if you thought we were done with the special delivery. Me, I thought we were, but we are not. Over the past couple of days, people have been getting strange messages in their inbox, and today we're gonna go through those. I don't think I have all of them, so I'm just gonna go through all the ones that I have myself. Um, and then, you know, we'll talk about it, we'll theorize about it, because based off of these messages and more hints in this game, we can find basically exactly where this fits in into the timeline. So the first one I got is this one. It's no subject and it's from Louise Capriaria. Awesome name. Uh, they say, Hey Ness, I hope you're having a good day. It's no big deal, but I wanted to reach out off the radar and remind you about the company policy about personal internet usage. Nobody cares if you're online shopping as long as you're getting your work done. I promise. I've, been my, I've done my fair share of last minute gift buying. But certain words and phrases trigger red flag reports, so your last order got automatically sent to me. Basically, anything mentioning torture is going to raise the alarm. So although the Viking Blood Eagle 12 month calendar you ordered is very cool, the searches that got you there did trigger a red flag. If you have any questions about the policy, let me know. We could even get coffee or something and go over all the words to avoid. And now I've raised my own red flag. Good thing I'm the only one who gets the notification. Oh, and I lost connection. From Lewis. So basically, Ness, this character named Ness, has been... They work on this game, or at least they work at this company. They work at Fazbear Entertainment. And, you know, they've been working on the game, but every now and then they'll go online shopping. Um, and it seems like this has been happening recently. Or at least it's been happening a few times, because they've said no one cares if you're online shopping as long as you get your work done. So I'm guessing Ness has been repeatedly doing this instead of doing their work. And Louis has just wanted to, uh, Louis, Louis, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I suck at names. They just want to make sure that Ness is, most importantly, getting their work done. I think Mad Pat mentioned this in his Cult of Glitch Trap video, but I think a lot of people are starting to accept that Ness is, um, a shortened version of Vanessa, which is very close to Vanny. So we're thinking that this Ness character is Vanny, which is the reluctant follower in Help Wanted. And we already had suspicions that Vanny worked at Fazbear Entertainment because that's how she got Glitchtrap into Help Wanted in the first place. So I honestly don't think it's that far-fetched that this Ness character would be Vanny. So moving on to the next one, um, Mark Cho um, said, these things are creeping me out. So I think it's about time that we talk about FNAF Special Delivery as a whole, what it means for the franchise, and most importantly what it means in the franchise. I think Darko mentioned this, and I think uh, people should know that this is not another metagame. This is not a metagame. Fazbear Entertainment is actually shipping out characters that people buy for, from the subscription service. Um, and my theory, I don't know if um, Darko did talk about this, but my theory is that this is around the same time that the uh, the FNAF game, this is like right in between the uh, FNAF, the Five Nights game is getting popular and the production of the VR title. I think this is right there, uh, right in between those events because later on we get emails about circuit boards, and as we know from Help Wanted, those circuit boards are the things that actually made the VR title for Fazbear Entertainment. So this is around the time when Fazbear Entertainment is starting to lose money because of the Five Nights games, not many people are going to the restaurants anymore. So I think um, as a way to get more money, they make not only the VR title, but they also make the subscription service where people can actually buy the characters for themselves and have them get shipped to the buyers. And we also know that because, again, later on we're going to read emails about power drills and packages and all that stuff. So to summarize, this game, Special Delivery, is real. What is happening in this game is actually happening. People in the FNAF universe are buying characters that are then being shipped to them, to their house, that they can have. But as we learned in a Reddit post, uh, I think like a month or two back, uh, that Illumix made, they encountered a bug, they, they encountered a problem, and now the animatronics, you know, they're going haywire. Mark Show back again. Uh, oh wait, did I miss one? Okay, no. So, 
I feel like I am missing one. Yeah, so I think I am missing one. Basically, I remember, I don't know the exact name of the person, but there is someone that's like, uh, yeah, I don't know why Anna signed up for this, which, as you guys don't know, or as you guys may or may not know, I'm guessing Anna is like the head boss at Fazbear Entertainment, or just at this company, whatever it is. Because we'll find out later that people are asking Anna for permission to do stuff. So she's like, you know, top of the chart at this company. And then Mark replies with dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, all loads of dollar signs, and then the other person replies with more like, and then they just put one dollar sign. Based off of that email, I'm guessing they're not getting paid a lot of money for this, which really sucks. I don't know why I'm missing those emails, but I know for a fact that they're there. Um, finding another one. Yeah, so here we go. So, who sends this? Oh, wait, no. I don't know if mine are just out of order or something. Uh, I don't know. I think mine are out of order or I'm just missing one. Basically, someone asks Anna if they can use a power drill to get the packages open. Um, I'm guessing the packages are what hold the characters. Um, this is, again, kind of off topic, but if you guys have ever seen uh, the Rockfire channel, then you may have seen a video called Bringing Up the Wolf Pack 5. And in that video, again, going a little bit off topic, in that video, Aaron Fetcher, which is the creator of a animatronic rock band titled The Wolfpack 5, he brings them up after years and years and years of just sitting in the basement of uh, his company's building, and they're all in these wooden crates. They've been stuck in those wooden crates for a long time. And so, to get them out, and to see if they're still working properly, they take a crowbar, and they just, like, rip open the packages. It w they rip open the, uh, of the box. So, I'm guessing, these box boxes that the characters are in, the FNAF characters are in, are super, super sturdy. Um, and so, in order to get the characters out, uh, someone is requesting Anna if they can use a power drill. And <laughs> Anna replies with... Oh god. Nope, oh, she, she replies with no. Doesn't seem like a friendly boss, does she? Oh, so it was Daniel that asked. And then he replies again with, Please, I'm serious. I can't get the casing off without it. So it seems like he's really struggling. And then Anna replies with Raha is o is the only one certified. Quit asking. Yeah, so the quit asking really doesn't paint her as a great person. Um, what? I wonder if she is above or below Dale. If you guys remember Dale from Help Wanted. Um, because he was like the head administrator at Fazbear Entertainment. Um, as we learn from Tape Girl's messages and Help Wanted. I don't know if, um, Anna is above or below Dale. That's- I- I'd be interested to know if that's of where she is, you know? So it looks like Raha is below Anna, but probably above Daniel in the- in the, uh, in the company. Daniel then replies with, need to get the circuit boards out. Anna says you're the only one who can use the power drill. So I'm guessing Daniel is now talking to Raha, which these are- <laughs> Scott, I gotta give it to you. These are very interesting names for employees. So yeah, these are the circuit boards that we were talking about that show up in, um, not, not special delivery, Help Wanted. So I'm guessing these games are happening, um, around the same time. I think special delivery is being made, or it's happening, because the character is getting shipped out. So it's happening during the production of the VR title. That's my guess. So those were all the emails that I personally got. Um, as you could tell, I, were, I was missing a few. I don't know why, but I'm sure that you can find them all over on the Reddit, which is now officially going to be linked in the description forever and always. So if you want to go check those out, uh, I'm sure you can find them. And for my final piece of evidence of where special delivery takes place in the timeline, this isn't something that I've seen many people talk about, uh, which is kind of surprising, I'm not gonna lie. As of the recording of this video, Golden Freddy is not, ever, he is nowhere to be found in Special Delivery. And do you know what game he's also not found in? That's right, Help Wanted. So we found out during Help Wanted, um, Golden Freddy isn't in there because he's down torturing William in Ultimate Custom Night, which does fit uh, in the timeline very nicely. Um, we know that uh, Springtrap, you know, after the burning of the uh, Fazbear Frights horror attraction, you know, he went back to some other location, got himself all fixed up, turned into Scrap Trap. And that's when he got lured into the FNAF 6 location 
And then that's where he burned and eventually died. And then to torture him for his wrongdoings, Cassidy, Golden Freddy, sent him down to Heck, um, and now he's forever being tortured down there, which is why Golden Freddy is nowhere to be found in Help Wanted and Special Delivery. Because again, according to where we are supposedly putting Special Delivery in the timeline, it happens um, after FNAF 6, where everyone is burned, <laughs> and William goes to Custom Night, um, and right before Help Wanted. It's literally right before it. I honestly find that a little bit weird that not many people have brought up the fact that Golden Freddy isn't in Special Delivery because it's pretty obvious. He's just, he's not there at all. There's no hint of him. He's not even mentioned. There's, like, he's not there. So, where is he? Where is she? Down in Custom Night. Very simple. Very easy answer. So, that is a very quick overview of the current lore of FNAF AR Special Delivery. I feel very confident of my opinions and my evidence on where I think this game is placed on the timeline. And if you guys have any more evidence, fun facts, or just something you want to share, that's why there's a comment section down there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.